Okay, to begin learning how to actually write some useful code in Rebel, we're going to start with graphic user interfaces. Uh, graphic user interfaces are the typical point and click um, faces that you see on programs. And Rebel makes it really easy to start uh, creating those kind of applications. Um, these two words, view layout, are uh, in most simple Rebel um, programs, they help you form um, a, a window that you see, whether you're in Windows or Linux or Mac um, or any other uh, operating system that lets you uh, create those kinds of windows. Uh, Rebel makes it really easy. You don't need this little size refinement, but we're going to use it here and we're going to give it a size of 400 by 300. And paste that into the Rebel interpreter and uh, get a win little window that pops up that looks like that, 400 by 300 pixels across. Um, and as we go through the, the section here, you're going to see we add something every time. This time, you notice in between the, um, between the brackets, you've got the word button. Um, copy and paste that into the interpreter, and you'll see that in the window, this time, we've got a little clickable button. Uh, next we're going to add um, some text to that button. So right after the word button, you have the words click me. Paste that in there and now uh, when you see that button in the program, it has the words click me on it. Uh, next, we're going to make, uh, make the button do something. Um, and you'll notice that, again, in some brackets, after the words click me and after the button, uh, there's an alert command. We saw that in the uh, beginning. That function will pop up some text. Paste that into the Rebel interpreter. And you'll see that when you click uh, the button that says click me, it pops up um, the text that we put in. Click. Um, and next, we're going to assign some data using the function request text. We add that to the, uh, the layout. displayed when we click on the button. And if you look at what happened here, all we've done is we've created a little variable data, a variable word uh, called data. Uh, we assign that to a function. Whatever was returned by that function is going to be uh, stored in that variable data. And then when you click on the button, it alerts, uh, alerts you with whatever uh, data was saved um, by that request. In the last example here, we request some text again. This time, uh, we alert it, and afterwards, uh, we're going to write it to the hard drive. Uh, so if we again paste that into the interpreter, click on the button, and this time, we're alerted. And afterwards, if you look at our C drive, we'll see that we created a little text file called data.txt. And that has the, uh, the message that we typed in. This is a text that was saved at the end of that last example.